All right. So let's wake up. Ow, ow, ow. Uncle. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Uh, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. <laughs> so, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to <laughs> head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Okay. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a ride, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. Amazing. I'm going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out to the trees here, then take a left. So there are multiple ways to get proper. You will see it eventually. Here, here you go. You heard, gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. So our actions in the world uh, impact you on a level, no, or on a level, and change how people in the world interact. <laughs> Positive no, actions will make you more.
हेलो हेलो और राइट लेट्स गो Uh, my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Pardon? I was 
acted like a servant girl usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York to someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Diego and cruising off to Brazil. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. Asked to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right on their new handle. That's wow, real quiet. So, we're I can get the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they were gonna rob. What? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. There's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> For what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drop fed mid-twenties blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please.
a bit. Well, you ain't dead. Yeah. There is that. Come here, Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? <laughs> I never saw you. Not, not now, not now, never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks, I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent in this year old mind. Yep. Appreciate it. 